Hello boys and girls, welcome to another installment of MR2 Spider for dummies. This means you, just kidding. Okay, as you can see I've got an engine that is ready to come out from under the car. And uh, before I just remove the engine entirely, I just want to point out a few things. that You generally want to remove the engine with the harness in place, so I did not disconnect the harness from the engine. It's still connected to all the sensors and etc. What I did is I took the end of the harness that goes into the cabin through that hole back there. I just disconnected it from the ECU, disconnected the body connectors, and then just pushed it back, okay? So it came all out of the cabin and it's attached to the engine, but it's still attached to one more thing, which is the fuse box, okay? So the engine fuse box right here is... Uh, the last remaining thing that we need to disconnect so that we can liberate the engine and harness. Um, and we have one connector that comes off a branch of the harness that powers this fuse box and is held in by a 10 millimeter M6. Okay, so we just uh, loosen that up real quick. We loosen it up a few turns okay is that out yet no it needs a another turn or two okay so it's loose this nut is now loose now this is the part that is a little bit perplexing sometimes is uh this tab here is uh, what secures the line to the harness, I mean um, to the fuse box. And this tab, actually you can just slide it out just by pushing it up like that. Okay, so it's been liberated now. The nut is out, it fell down, we'll get it later. The connector is off and now the engine and harness are completely disconnected from the chassis and we're good to go.